Hey guys, I'm Shuaib. I've been using the Galaxy Buds 3 for the past three weeks, and hear me out, it's definitely one of the best earbuds I've ever used. Starting off with the design, a lot of people have been saying, you know, they look a lot like the AirPods, and yes, they do. They look a lot like the AirPods, so Samsung definitely copied the homework and made sure to change some stuff. So it is different somewhat, and some design choices Samsung decided to go with are definitely worth noting, and Apple should definitely implement them as well. Starting off with the case, I really like the transparent layer, which gives you a view window of the buds themselves, and it kind of looks uh, futuristic. Overall, the earbuds look cool, but there are pros and cons to the design. Since it is triangular, it's harder to put it in the case right away. You have to be very precise, and it takes some time getting used to, but over time you do get used to it. Like, I'm very used to it right now after three weeks of use, and I, you know, it's not a problem for me. But at first, as you can see, I was struggling to put them in, but I'm way better now, and especially with their neat added feature, which is this color indications for the right and the left buds, which is super useful when you put the buds back in the case which is very unlike airpods and apple should definitely implement this into airpods because it's very you know with the airpods it's easy to accidentally put the buds in the wrong pocket so having this color indication makes it really easy like you just take a quick glance at your buds and then your case and you can align them to the proper colors so the left earbuds are blue and the right earbuds are orange and you know as you can see the color indications you just place them in the right pockets for those respective colors and go from there and over time i've found that to be very helpful to a point where like you know i can easily put them in the case and go about my day more about the case itself though so this is the clip case and this is the official samsung's galaxy buds 3 cases and they're easy to put on as long as you read the instructions which unlike me i did not read the instructions at first and so I forgot to remove the sticker that was inside of the lid of the case that you open up and that made it really hard. I was like, why is it not going in smoothly? And that's because I forgot to take out the sticker, which made it harder. So I remember initially I had just kind of jammed it in there and then it, which also made it slightly harder to take it out. But once I took that sticker, once I peeled that sticker off, it was fine from there. So make sure you take the sticker off if you buy these cases brand new and also just follow your instructions. And I do like the fact that they came free with my buds themselves and and that's a nice touch you know that's that's a good deal so overall for the case I like how it doesn't cover the transparent part it still goes with the design of the actual buds case which complements the design overall so you're not really compromising anything it's just your case and you're adding a protective layer while you can still appreciate the original design of the buds themselves so the case they do the job for the purposes of being a case you know preventing scratches dents and I have not had any issues with that plus it has a clip attached which you can link it to your keys so you can prevent losing it so that's also nice all in all the clip case is a nice touch and especially because i got it for free they are selling for 30 bucks themselves so if you buy them separately which is a bit pricey so try to see if you can also get them for free from the official samsung website along with your galaxy buds so i got a pretty good deal and i'm pretty satisfied with it and you know it's a, it's a case it's a simple case that does the job and i'm very satisfied with it all right so moving on to the actual buds let's talk about the gesture controls when it comes to the gesture controls all the music controls work great volume up down skip previous songs all that works great in addition to the gesture controls you also have controls for the buds with voice commands which also surprisingly work well like I was surprised you know you could simply just say volume up volume down skip previous and it does it and it's very smooth very seamless and a lot of the times i'm not quite used to it though like i'm not used to using voice commands because i'm used to the gestures but i think i want to use that a lot more so going forward i'm going to try to use a lot of those controls because it's you know hands-free you don't have to touch the buds or anything especially if you're running or like you're doing another activity you can easily command your earbuds to adjust the volume or the settings or skip the songs or whatever with just your voice and i think that's always nice something to note in my experience though not all the earbuds controls work when it comes to custom inputs so i tried the pinch and hold control for the right earbud to launch spotify and it wouldn't do it at first i was like maybe i'm doing it wrong but i kept trying and it never worked so this is an option in the setting for the earbuds to launch a specific application when you pinch and hold and it just wouldn't do it perhaps it's a software bug or at least i hope it's a software bug 
and which means they can fix it in the next software update. So, you know, that's something to look forward to, but currently it did not work for me and I'm still trying, so I don't know why. I have seen videos of other people using it and it does work, but for me, it doesn't work. So maybe it's a software thing or maybe it's a hardware thing, I don't know yet, but I will keep trying and keep you guys updated. Speaking of the software, the Galaxy Buds 3 have great software, especially if you also have a Galaxy phone or one of the latest tablets, they work great. The setup process for the Galaxy Buds 3 are pretty straightforward and they're easy to understand. So for the first time, you open the case and the Samsung device should detect the buds. And this is very similar to how you connect AirPods. And it will load up like the pop a window from the bottom and you can connect your buds to your phone or tablet. And from there, you can go ahead and link the device. And if it's your first time, it will also update the software, making sure you have the latest software. And that's nice. So you don't have to like go in and update it any other time. It does it from the beginning. There are a few features I like to mention that I personally enjoy using in my daily use. And that's all in the sound quality and effects menu and just overall in the settings you can see these features. So first there's active noise cancelling option and this was very surprising to me because these are the first earbuds that I've used that have active noise cancelling that do not have the ear tip. Going into it I wasn't sure how it's going to work but it's surprisingly good. It's not as good as you know the ones with the earbuds tip which will create a more of a vacuum to cancel because like it needs to seal in your ear and the only way it can really properly seal and cancel out any noise outside is with the ear tip which creates a more of a vacuum than without because you still have gaps and, and whatnot but it was still surprisingly good so active noise cancelling still works well and I do like that so I always have active noise cancelling connected so whenever I'm like at a cafe or just like walking walking on a busy street or something like that the noises around me are reduced and they're not as loud and so I really do like the active noise cancelling it works it's definitely not as good as like say the pro version with the ear tips but it's still there and it's kind of nice so I do like that feature in addition there's there's also 360 audio which has the options to enable or disable head tracking and head tracking is kind of weird but it's mainly for I want to say for watching videos so the way that it works is let's say you're watching a video on your phone and maybe you move your head slightly back or you move your head slightly to the right or left and the way it makes it basically gives, gives you a 3d spatial audio it will like angle the audio from where your device is and it will make it seem like it's coming from that side so you move your head and it'll kind of like track your head compared to where the device is and kind of gives you spatial audio it's kind of hard to explain but it's like a 3d spatial audio coming from the angle of the device or like where your head is compared to where the device is you kind of have to like try it and see what I mean but for the most part it's really meant for watching videos it's not necessarily for listening to music honestly it's kind of weird when you're listening to music with it on I personally don't like it so usually I do like 360 audio though because like it creates a very immersive experience you can you hear the audio from all sides and I do like that feeling and it's kind of cool but whenever you enable 360 audio it does disable Dolby Atmos and I usually like Dolby Atmos better than 360 audio but I'm still kind of getting used to that so you know it disables Adobe Atmos but you get surround sound with 360 audio so you kind of gotta pick and choose and see which ones you like more to see if you want to enable that setting or just stick with like Adobe Atmos and go from there there's also an equalizer setting and in this you can do a lot of things for me I usually just keep Keep it on balance but you have options you have like six different preset options so there's balanced there's smooth there's clear there's bass boost there's dynamic and treble boost and of course you have the option to adjust however you like so you have custom so you can like adjust the settings to your liking and these are kind of nice and you will hear the difference based on whichever option you put it on but for the most part I don't really bother with that I just keep it on balanced and go about listening to my music moving on to compatibility when it comes to the galaxy buds they're meant for the Samsung devices and especially for the latest Samsung devices if you want to get the most out of both software and hardware you want to Use this with the latest Samsung phones or tablets which kind of sucks because like there are so many great other latest Android phones out there like the Pixel uh, like OnePlus uh, and stuff like that and to have it just limited to just you know Samsung phones kind of sucks because these are nice buds and it would be nice to have them across all Android devices and even even iPhones so maybe they can make it better and like make it more universal but I do understand why Samsung is doing this you know you they want you to stay within the ecosystem you will get the most out of the hardware and software if you do use it on Samsung devices. And you know, it kind of sucks, but I get it. It's like their market strategy. So if you do have a Samsung, like personally, I have the S24 Ultra and it's one of the main reasons why I wanted to upgrade because 
Previously, I was using AirPods and, you know, similarly to Samsung, that's what Apple has been doing for years. They want to keep you within the ecosystem. So AirPods work best for iPhones. So here we have Galaxy Buds that work best for Samsung devices. And that's mainly why I wanted to upgrade. And also it's nice that these have USB Type-C for charging, which gets me closer to just carrying one single USB Type-C cable around for all my devices. But having said all this though, it still should work with any device with Bluetooth capabilities. Although you won't get all the features, which is is, you know sort of a downside but it will work with any other devices that just have bluetooth capabilities like i use it on my anchor projector and the play controls still work like play pause skip all that works on my projector and i can just like gesture it so the buds should still work with any device with bluetooth capabilities but you're just not going to get all the software or ai features that you do get on the samsung devices moving on to the battery life you get six hours with single charge and adding on the charging case you can get up to 30 hours for each buds. Overall, that's pretty decent battery life. And in my use case, I only had to like charge it once or twice a week and I was good to go. So overall, I'm very satisfied with the buds themselves. And this is not very different from the pros. With the pros, you get seven hours on a single charge and 30 hours with the charging case as well. Lastly, I do want to compare the Buds 3 and Buds 3 Pro and why I went with the Buds 3 rather than the Buds 3 Pro. So when it comes to sound quality, Buds 3 Pro has superior sound with richer detail particularly in high frequencies thanks to its dual driver system and in terms of the driver configuration the Buds 3 Pro has a dynamic driver with a planner tweaker while the Buds 3 only has a single dynamic driver. In terms of comfort I personally find the Buds 3 more comfortable than the Buds 3 Pro. I don't like the ear tips. It feels very intrusive to me, uneasy and uncomfortable. Like I don't like a piece that's like going in my ear. It just doesn't feel right to me and I don't like it. Very intrusive to me. However, for secure fit though, the Buds 3 Pro come with the ear tips, which is way more secure in terms of the fit and it's way more customized because you can put in the right tip right for your ears and it will help it stay there for longer. Because there are times when I found the regular Buds 3 to be slippery and like if I'm yawning or something like that or maybe in the middle of a run or stuff like that, it does get slippery over time and it will like fall off your ears. And I've had that happen to me a couple of times. So the Buds 3 Pro are more secure fit in terms of staying in your ears for longer. And lastly for the price, the Pros are more expensive by $100. So the Buds 3 are going at $180 and Buds 3 Pro are $280. And finally, the main reason why I went with the Buds 3, although it doesn't have the richest sounds or like Pro software features and the ear tips, is mainly because of the comfort. I find the Buds 3 without the ear tips are way more comfortable than the the Buds 3 Pro because I like I said I don't like the ear tips they just feel very intrusive to me and I don't like it at all so I went with the Buds 3 and and even though they don't have top of the line the best features they still have a lot of the same features as the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro like active noise canceling 360 audio and all those work surprisingly well personally for me it's a big upgrade because my last earbuds were the Apple AirPods just first generation and those were pretty bad and to be honest they were pretty bad they just worked they just can hear your music but they didn't have anything else to them so this is a big upgrade for me and i think the regular galaxy buds 3 is really good and i really do like the new design and the fact that it's also compatible to my s24 ultra makes it more likely for me and i also got it for like a good deal all in all if you find a deal the buds 3 is a great choice over the buds 3 pro for the price and overall use cases the 180 is pricey but i'm sure these will go on sale and that's one nice thing about samsung i personally got mine for 135 and they even gave me the clip case for free so definitely look out for the deals if you can find a nice deal like that it's definitely worth it but i do think the 180 is a bit pricey so definitely look for the deals in terms of the new design i do really like the new design with the nice added color coding for easy identification of which buds go into which pockets it's very helpful apple should definitely take notes on this so i think samsung did a great job on that aspect and the case overall looks very futuristic. It has decent battery life, 30 hours, which is the same for the Buds 3 Pro as well. One thing I don't like is the fact that they are more tailored towards latest Galaxy devices. For me, it's great since I have the S24 Ultra and that's mainly why I got them, but they should still work with any Bluetooth devices out there. You just won't get all the features that come with the software and hardware to make most of the device, which kind of sucks, but you win some, you lose some for the price and the quality quality of sound, I think it's still a really good headphones. Hopefully in the future, Samsung will make more buds, more
more compatible with other Android devices with better software. But for now, I think these are still really good. And especially if you have a Galaxy device, these are a perfect companion and I would highly recommend them. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell icon. As always, have a superb day and thanks for watching.